uh, hi everyone uh, welcome to this session uh, so today we will solve a like discussion or design type of problem for uh, analog design engineer profile okay so now we have to discuss uh, why source floor follower circuit uh, we know the source follower circuit uh, having a gain of less than one is used in practical circuit instead of we have a high gain cs amplifier okay so we know the the block diagram like the symbolical picture will be like this right for a cs amplifier right here is our small signal v in here is our small signal v out and this is rd and we know that the mosfet is biased uh, like bi like already biased okay in saturation so the problem is that we know that like if we want to drive a high load right high load high load let's say let's say as a loudspeaker okay loudspeaker we know the load impedance of a loudspeaker is between uh, let's say uh, 4 to 12 ohms okay so this is a very high load right so now we know that to drive a loudspeaker we need some some uh, some uh, like sufficient voltage okay right but let's say let's say we have a like let's say we have an inverter okay so what will be the output here so this will be nothing but let's like we are taking the mod of gain right like mod of like mod of this right v of mod okay so we will get this is let's say the gm of like the transconductor of the uh, mosfet is gm okay so this will be nothing but let's say the output voltage will be uh, will be nothing but let's say this is vo right like mod of vo so this will be nothing but gm times rd times v in right and we know this is a very small signal right so the output will be small like this this is gain is high enough but oh, like this is like this is a sufficient voltage let's say to drive a loudspeaker okay but but when we use this like when we directly use this let's say this is our circuit okay and we have connect a loudspeaker here okay so let's say a loudspeaker here so this is rd and this is our let's say v in okay and uh, okay let's and uh, okay okay let me do okay so this is not applicable here so basically this is like we somehow we managed to get a positive voltage here okay so now if we directly connect this like there will be a, some voltage let's say v out and there is a there need a sufficient voltage to drive this loudspeaker okay but here here the gain now changes right because the impedance looking here is let's say let's say uh, 12 ohm and previously let's say rd was let's say 10 kilo ohm okay so previously the gain was gm times 10 kilo ohm okay so let's say gm is nothing but one milli siemens so the previously the gain was 10 right but now in this case the gain let's say av is nothing but gm times like we are omitting the negative signs okay like we know that this is a common source amplifier and there will be a negative sign okay so we are omitting right now okay we are considered like like concerned about the mod of gain okay so the 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 new gain will be nothing but gm times rd parallel uh, let's say 12 ohms right so here this is our one milli siemens and here rd is on k parallel 12 ohm so this is a parallel combination and 12 ohm is very very less than 1000 ohm right so this is almost like 12 right and this is on milli siemens so this will be our new gain so our new gain is let's say this this will be like this right so our the previously our gain was 10 but now our gain is 0. Uh, 0. 0.012 so the output voltage here becomes very low okay the output voltage becomes here very low like i, I am uh, talking about the mod of v out okay so the the voltage is too much low to drive this loudspeaker okay so this loudspeaker cannot be turned on okay in this case if we directly connect this 
manner okay but instead of this like instead of connecting this if we if we do this let's say so this is our previous circuit so here the gain was let's say 10 right here in this circuit the gain was 10 but here now our design will be like this so if we connect a source follower circuit like this so this is our source follower circuit okay and there is some bus potentials okay so if we connect this like in this manner and we drive the loudspeaker from here okay so so this is our loudspeaker let's say now what will be the case so we can see that the impedance looking up here is infinite right and here the previously gain was 10 so now the potential at here like let, let's say view on like mod of view on will be nothing but gm times rd parallel infinity so here we get the sufficient voltage as previously okay as we are getting in this in this way okay so here we get a sufficient voltage right so now this is a source follower of gain one right so this voltage will appear in this node right we know that because the uh, source follower source follower or the common drain common drain amplifier have has a gain of like almost one right as this is a ideal current source so then then the gain is ex exactly one okay so all the voltages gm times rd times v in appears here okay now this loudspeaker get sufficient voltage to drive right to drive drive this like this node gets sufficient voltage to drive this loudspeaker okay so that uh, so now the, the, the so the loudspeaker is turned on now so this will like this work happily right so this is the reason why this common source amplifier is used okay because this is a very good buffer right buffer means his like buffer circuit means input impedance is infinity ideally and output impedance is almost zero ideally okay so we know that in this case the output impedance is nothing but on over gm and input impedance we can see directly this is what will be the input impedance here like looking in impedance so there is two path right one is from here and another path is here right like in this circuit so if we apply a test voltage here we will get two paths so one path is contributing infinite impedance impedance this is the this path and another is contributing this path and let's say the like we are neglecting channel length modulation so the r out of this mosfet is infinite so this will be nothing but rd uh, infinity parallel rd so this will be rd itself so in this case we can see that if we like measure the impedance looking up here this will be nothing but rd okay and if we measure the impedance looking up here is on over gm so this is how the circuit behaves like this is like the buffer like if we connect a buffer then the previous like previous circuit the preceding like the previous circuit is not seeing any loading effect okay this is the main reason the previous circuit like this this circuit is not feeling any loading effect okay so loading effect is zero here neglected right because this the impedance uh, like the impedance here is infinite so this is how we can use the common source amplifier in our practical circuit okay so you can you can go in this manner in the interview okay so we have like successfully discussed how source follower circuit is important okay and this is this is also used for isolation right so we can see that this is isolated from this circuit because there is no current right so uh, for isolation or input is like impedance matching like this is used for isolation and impedance matching right impedance matching circuit so now we, we can see that because there is a low impedance okay let's say 12 ohm and on over gm on over gm is also a like uh, like like on over gm is also a low impedance right so the impedance is match matched here right so this is how the like this is how the common source amplifier of gain like as though the gain of this is on this circuit is widely used okay so thank you everyone if you like this discussion you can like subscribe our channel and uh, give your valuable feedbacks okay
सो थैंक यू